The control panel works, but the chains rusted in place. I've thought about it, but I think not. Pour a bit of oil over the chain. I don't have the code to open it, and I'm not going to guess. I don't have the code to open it, and I'm not going to guess. I don't have the code to open it, and I'm not going to guess. Hmm. Somehow I need to attach the chain to the safe. Let's hope the hook's going to hold. The safe's down on the rollers. The panel's dead. Not wired up, I guess. I could hold the two pieces of wire together, but they won't stay there when I let go. Ugh! I hate gum! The piece of gum will hold the wire together. Just. I've connected the wires, but it still doesn't work. I'll fix it. <laughs> there you go, good as new. The panels worked, but only partially. I can move all the rollers at once, but not separately.
can't shift it on my own. Mr. Maynard, can you give me a hand pushing the safe? Sure. Lead on. No use. There's a safety mechanism. It's not meant to have an object that size inside. Can't you override it? The safety override button is inside the centrifuge. Ah. Uh. But hey, if you operate it out here, I can hold the button then come out at the last minute. Sounds dangerous to me. Sounds fun to me, huh? Are you sure that's safe? Safe? Hey, what's the point of safe? Press the button! Okay. Here goes. I'll have the folder and keys. Hmm. A bank statement and a technical drawing. The statement shows that the factory has received a large amount of money from St. Michael, account number three. Very interesting. What was that noise? Sounded like a big machine, boss. A big machine? I know that, you idiot, but what did it do? Dunno, boss. Find the girl, but watch out. That maniac's got to be around somewhere. Vito, go out and stay in the hall. Don't let him use the elevator. Yes, boss. They're in the big hall. Time to get out of here. Hmm. A bank statement and a technical drawing. The statement shows that the factory has received a large amount of money from St. Michael, account number three. Very interesting.
The door isn't open. Uh oh, there's a guard on the elevator room. Bus, is that you? Stay by the elevator door, Vito. Yes, Bus. A lot of oil on the floor around the catch. It's slippery now, all right. Releasing the door. Who's there? Locked with an old-fashioned lock. No hacking through there. Bus, help me! Maynard's key should unlock it. Shooter. There's a guard on the elevator room. Bus? Is that you? Stay by the elevator door, Vito. Yes, Bus. A lot of oil on the floor around the catch. It's slippery now, all right. Releasing the door. Who's there? Here she is, boss! Releasing the door. Who's there?
door locked. Bush, help me! Time to get out of there. You better not have left the key in the lift, Vito. Come on, Bush, he ain't that stupid. <laughs> You're so stupid, you don't even know how stupid you are. Phew, that was close. A screw up. What you talking about? The boss isn't very happy about this, Mr. Fingers. What do you mean, the boss? I am the boss. That's not what Mr. Spalacci says. He wants to speak to you himself. Just putting him on now, Mr. Spalacci. After that, I flew straight back here. So the Order of St. Michael funded the whole Phoenix operation? And Anna Maria ran it. What happened to the gold? Maynard didn't know. You think Anna Maria does? Did. Remember, she wanted you to help her find a missing treasure. Treasure? Exactly. But what kind? What, the elixir of life? Some kind of wonder cure for every illness? Or a weapon. No. No, Maynard was crazy. You can't believe him. Why should he lie? Anna Maria wouldn't have got mixed up in- Maynard was vaporized. That powder, the gold, it's a fuel, Georges. Fuel for a weapon. Believe me. Well, now, I've made a lovely pot of tea. We need to go back and check out the monastery. Oh? Oh, what's happened? Let me come with you. Sorry, Mark. You better leave this to us. I can handle myself. It could be dangerous. We need you here, in case something goes wrong. I always miss the fun. We're not in this for the fun, Mark. Come on, Nico. Let's go. The square's lifeless. Perfect conditions for sneaking in. <laughs> 